السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی آر اسٹارٹنگ دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف تفسیر آف سورہ نسا آیت نمبر تھری سو اللہ سیڈ اوز بلّہ من شیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و ان خف تم اللہ تخسی تو فل یتاما فن کے ہو ماتاب الکم من النساء مسنا و سلاسا و ربا فن خف تم اللہ تعدل فواہدتن او ما مالکت ایمان کم ذالک ادنا اللہ تعول سو اللہ سیڈ اینڈ اف یو فیئر دیٹ یو ول بی ان ایبل ٹو مینٹین جسٹس ود ان دا آرفنز آفٹر ہیونگ نکا ود دم دین یو شوڈ ڈو نکاح اور میری ٹو ہوم یو لائک یو کین ڈو نکاح ود ٹو وومن اور ود تھری اور ود فور بٹ اف یو فیل that you will be unable to maintain justice between your wives if they are two or three or four so you think that you will be unable to maintain justice among them then you should marry only one you should do nikah with one only one woman that is enough for you and if you possess you are uh, if you possess like you are uh, maid servant or the bonded woman that is under your ownership so that is not now but if that was at the time of that was at the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if that you have then that is enough for you so that you should save yourself from injustice very important so this way allah wants to make our this life more better so that we can get better reward at the day of judgment this way allah tells us that maximum four women possible you can do nikah with them you can do nikah with one two three four but you are not allowed to do nikah with the the two three or four if you feel that you will not be able to maintain the justice among them justice mean like you will be unable to give them food shelter or other requirement and the time uh, time which you have to give them equal so so if you feel there is some problem then you will you will be unable to do the justice between between them among them then no problem then you can do nikah with one woman that is better and you will be saved uh, you will be saved from injustice because you will be with one woman you will have no problem so this way allah wants for us this life more better some people especially you know mostly people from the european and american and other authors they have written wrong allegations about holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they tried their best to produce hatred among the muslims so that the muslims should leave islam and come in their category so they tried their best and they have written so many books also and they also trying to do this type of tactics in times of different type of movies different type of cartoons different type of uh, situations about holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are trying so much allegations especially you can see uh, sexually they have done so many things about prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam astaghfirullah nauzu billah they have made the movies about that but uh, you can see the situation of the location and environment we are holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam started his childhood and he became young person 
then he got prophethood and they, then he preached Islam. What was that situation, that location? That was Makkah. In Makkah, Holy Prophet ﷺ, he spent more than 30 years. So you can see in the 25 years that Prophet ﷺ spent with having nikah with, uh, with Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha and he was that time young person and he was staying in Makkah. Alhamdulillah, the people who were against Prophet sallallahu in Makkah, they have done so many allegations on Prophet, of Prophet sallallahu They said him that he is a magician, he is a poet, he is an insane person. He, they have done so many allegations to Prophet ﷺ, but we have no any evidence from any authentic book that those people they have done or they said any sexual allegation about Prophet ﷺ. So we have no any evidence. The Holy Prophet ﷺ, the whole life, MashaAllah, that was so much pure we can't have an example of that so this way those people who who has done so many allegations to prophet sallallahu but they have not uh, done any allegation regarding the sexual life of holy, holy prophet sallallahu so holy prophet sallallahu he was mashallah a good example of purity. MashaAllah. So, good example of taqwa. So, you can see when Holy Prophet Sallallahu he married, he can, you can see the married, Prophet Sallallahu married, which we get from the authentic hadith that is, we understand the Prophet Sallallahu he married about uh, five, uh, to 11, 11 women and 11 wives and those are our moms ummahatul mu'minin mashallah and at the time of death when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam left this world and there were about nine wives of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam alive at that time so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam first wife was uh, 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 Khadija Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha and she was so much kind to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam she sacrificed each everything which was owning to Khadija Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha we get example of this have you seen any wife now in the Muslim like any Muslim wife who is doing the same thing what the Khadija Raji Allah Ta'ala Anha she has done for Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, if you find a wife of any Muslim, if she owns something, she is not to give any penny, any money, anything to the husband. She don't want to, she don't want to give this one to the husband. She want, don't want to sacrifice that. But this was Khadija Raji Allah Ta'ala Anha, she sacrificed each everything which was her belongings, even her ownership, whatever she was owning, she has presented before Holy Prophet Sallallahu So this is the generosity of the wife for husband. You can't see this type of example any any woman now. I can't see because when you see, when the, mostly the husband and wife, there is the dispute is about the money. Wife say, why you are sending this money to your relatives, to your parents, why you are helping them or why you are not giving me? So, but she is not, if she owns something, she is not to give to husband. So this is the situation. But only few maybe, those are, mashallah, who are trying to have the sunnah of Khadija Raji Allah Ta'ala Anha and they help the, pay, help the husbands also. 
financially, but only they are few, not all. But this is a good sunnah of Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha to help the husbands when he is in financial crisis. Very important. Same like this, you can see when Prophet sallallahu he spent his life about 25 years with Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha and you can see, mashallah, she was so, so nice. She was protecting the full house of Holy Prophet ﷺ when he was to left. Uh, he was leaving the house and going to the Mount Hira for worship. And he was staying there months, months, months. So weeks and months he was there, but behind children of Prophet ﷺ were there and also the, the household management that was under Khadija Allah And she has done it very beautifully. You can see when a husband is going out of the house and behind the woman nowadays, what they do? Mostly we have seen if the husband is going one month out, we have seen due to this uh, internet, uh, mobile, uh, this media, they make friendship with some other people. But this is the sunnah of Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha that when the husband is out about the month, then she has to maintain her purity and also look after the children and also look after the house and uh, deal with the relatives, deal with the neighbors, deal with other people with full purity and leaving everything just for generosity, staying under the limits of Islam. MashaAllah, she has done it. And this is the Sunnah of Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha. We have, we have a lesson from that and we have to follow in our house. Same like that, Prophet sallallahu he was also in love with her. And so much beautiful life was there. And when, after 25 years, when she left this, uh, uh, this universe, and at that time, Prophet sallallahu he was so much sad. And then, the children of Prophet ﷺ, especially, you know, the girls, Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha, uh, um, Rukiya radiallahu ta'ala anha, Umm Kulsum radiallahu ta'ala anha, and Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. And who was, then, uh, they were, then, uh, then Prophet ﷺ, he was in a need, some woman to look after children. This way, Prophet ﷺ, after passing Khadija radiallahu ta'ala, Anha, he married Sauda radiallahu ta'ala anha. And she was the old lady, but she was beautifully, she beautifully maintained the house of Prophet sallallahu alayhi and looked after nicely children of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. very good. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi he has done nikah with Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. This nikah was uh, uh, specially done because uh, of uh, Allah's uh, command and mashallah this was nikah and uh, the uh, it has been done in Mecca but uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha she left the house of her parents and came to the house of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was in Medina so alhamdulillah this was and uh, this was the beautiful uh, time when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he married Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha also and she came to the house of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then she got the full like from the young life till leaving the when the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa left his, this world. She got every, every minute, every, every second so education, guidance and how to spend a life, good life, with purity, 
under Islam and uh, mashallah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has done so much uh, education and guidance and uh, so many uh, you know advices uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has done to aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and you can see aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha this way she has about uh, 2210 revealed messages in the form of hadith we can see so she remembered so many things so it mean mashallah she was having good memory and she was having more things these are the uh, our uh, treasure for the woman because woman purity woman life how it may be more pure more secure more good and under the holy quran and sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it also some hadith contribute by contributed by aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha these are 2210 mashallah so this way so aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she was mashallah favorite wife of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also and uh, she helped prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so much because she was young young and she has done so many uh, because this is this is an other example for us that uh, married a marriage is possible from the old lady and also with the young lady so this is other our uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has uh, he has given us other sunna that that if someone wants to marry the young lady if the person is old possible no blame to that person and because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has done this marriage with aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she was young and then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has done marriage with khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she was old and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was young so this is other example so these are examples give us a guidance we are not to blame if a person who marry some young one or who marry for job for some for old one people they they blame but this is not according to islam is not allowed so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam practically this finish this type of uh, this type of uh, spoken blames the people they do this type of routine or uh, see a uh, habit prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has finished because allowed married marriage is allowed with old woman or with young woman mashallah and then you can see this is the a, a good uh, package or good uh, uh, strong relationship building strong relationship between prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and abu bakr sadiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam married abu bakr sadiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anha daughter uh, anha daughter this hazrat aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha mashallah the bondage the the relationship between abu bakr siddiq and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they became more strong and same same like that after a year prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he married hafza radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and she was the daughter of umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and uh, then uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and with umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu the relationship became more strong and this is the other like if we are like friends relative then we can marry among us so this is other sunna possible to make the relationship more strong and struggle just for islam to bring islam guidance to to the people of different tribes different people through the throughout the world this is united struggle mashallah this is other example of strong relationship with umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he married after some month zainab bin to khadima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha zainab bin to khadima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she was mashallah good person she was giving so much sadqa and charity but she spent some months with prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then she left this world 
Then Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she she married Umm Salma radiallahu ta'ala anha. Umm Salma radiallahu ta'ala anha this is other good example Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us a, a, an other sunnah that uh, when we marry to the widows mashallah that is rewardable because we are we are uh, securing the purity for the widows and giving them support financially and and uh, like uh, with our uh, socially with every way because the widows they will have no problem they get the full support even you can see muslims they are always in jihad there were the battle of uhud the battle of badr battle different type of battles were there and this way many muslims they 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 were they became martyred they died in the in the battles mashallah their wives were there so this way their wives they got uh, married by those people those people are rewardable people because they supported the widows this way holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mashallah he gave so much good example that he supported the widows also and we have to do this one umm salma radiyallahu ta'ala anha and when she came to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam house she came with four children and uh, then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he up brought those four children who were orphans with beautiful way with food shelter and education and guidance even one son of uh, umm salma radiyallahu ta'ala anha umar abu salma radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he says that when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when i was to eat food with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was my habit to eat from different way but prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said start eating with bismillah rahman rahim and you have to start the food eating which is the place from the bowl or from the plate the place a food which is near to you eat from there so even this way prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he gave him more information because when when he was starting eating with the other hand and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said eat with right hand and also prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he guided he gave so much good education this gave us other uh, sunna that uh, when we uh, marry the woman who is widow if she has children we have to uh, we have to look after the children and give them food shelter and also education and guidance to make their life more beautiful so this is very important for us so same like that what can we do you can see the other like uh, when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he married then zainab bint jahsh radiyallahu ta'ala anha to so this marriage was done by allah because this nikah you can find revelation in holy quran surah ahzab ayat number 37 and zainab bint jahsh radiyallahu ta'ala anha she was the wife of zaid radiyallahu ta'ala anha Zaid radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he was the spoken son of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you are my son and actually zaid was not real son of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this way this gave us an other information or guidance that if you say someone your son but then if the wife of that person wife of that son if in future life if there is possibility if uh, she is divorced from the son then you are able to marry that one also so this is mashallah an other good example we find because the person spoken son is not a son so this is uh, allah's special uh, you know command that we can can see in holy quran also and mashallah we got uh, evidence that 
uh, we are able to do the nikah with that son's wife which is spoken son so this is halal same like that you can see in 6 hijra holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has done uh, nikah with jabiriya radiyallahu ta'ala anha mashallah she was and the daughter of the chief of bano mastlak tribe and she came uh, as a prisoner of war and she came to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she said that holy she just said holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam give some give pay please pay my money to them and make me free and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said them he said her that uh, no problem i will pay, i will pay your money and then she became she became agree to have nikah with holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then she became the wife of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mashallah jabeer ya radi allah taala anha and she then she became the uh, mom of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam son ibrahim alaihi salam mashallah and uh, then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in seven hijra you can see uh, umm habiba she was the daughter of uh, abu sufyan and abu sufyan he was the worst enemy of muslim and makkans that people of makkah they were also the worst enemy of muslims so what happened uh, umm habiba and uh, his and her uh, husband they migrated to habsha and when her husband he was in habsha and he made a relationship with the christians and he left islam he became christian because he was involved in drinking alcohol also and he is his habits were changed and then he left islam and then he died there so after that holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he sent his message of nikah uh, with umm habiba radiyallahu ta'ala anha to najashi who was the king of ethiopia so najashi he became the lawyer solicitor uh, at the uh, from the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, this is the other method like for us that when we are living in one country and we want to marry other person uh, the girl from other country then we must have our wakil there so that will be wakil from the girl side there and one wakil here with our side so so the main thing is that like uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he gave authority to najashi on his behalf to be his wakil to do nikah with umm habiba radiyallahu ta'ala anha and he, najashi has done this mashallah and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, he got uh, nikah with umm habiba radiyallahu ta'ala anha and then the oppression and the torture that was uh, too much about the muslims that became decline because uh, when umm habiba she came she became the wife of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then kuffar e makkah they were Uh, doing uh, they started declining they are torturing muslims also because they said uh, our uh, chief uh, abu sufyan's daughter now she is the wife of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this was an other political social and economic uh, you can say a special reform for the muslims to save them from the cruelty of the kuffar so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has done this nikah with umm habiba radiyallahu ta'ala anha mashallah this is good example also same like that you can see 
Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has done nikah with Safiya radiallahu ta'ala anha she was also relating she was in relation with the Harun alaihi salam you know Musa and Harun alaihi salam he she was also in relation with them with Harun alaihi salam also Safiya radiallahu ta'ala anha and um, she became the wife of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi salam and then prophet sallallahu alaihi salam has done nikah with Maimuna radiallahu ta'ala anha so these are these nikah which the Prophet ﷺ has done with the woman. Mostly this was because of spreading Islam. So that Islam should spread throughout the other tribes. So other tribes they get Islam uh, to, because woman is the main, uh, main place. Like lap of a woman, lap of mom is the university for the child. Is the school for the child. Because... The child learns more from the mom. This way, Prophet ﷺ, he married many women from different tribes so that they can get to so much knowledge and guidance from Holy Prophet ﷺ about Islam and then Islam should spread among the other tribes, mashallah. And the other aspect was this, that the people who marry with two or three or four, according to Islam, so they must understand that Holy Prophet ﷺ, he maintained justice among 11 wives, but uh, the Muslims, if they are unable to do justice with the four wives, they should think that what was the, mashallah, wisdom and... Uh, the purity and the guidance and the strategy and sunnah of Prophet ﷺ. And they have to follow that one in order to maintain justice among the wives. And uh, the other thing very important, that is, that is very important for our uh, daily life, that... Uh, we must understand that Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he has got so many exceptions because of Allah's special blessings. This way, Alhamdulillah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he has done more nikah in order to spread Islam, in order to preach Islam, in order to teach us how to behave with the woman and how to uh, adopt widows in our nikah, how to look after the orphans how to look after those people, families who died in wars. MashaAllah, so many guidance we are, we are just to look which are hidden in Sunnah of Prophet ﷺ while having more nikah. So this way we should get the guidance from it and also spread that one, the purity, the social justice and also reward not for this world but the world for hereafter so Allah gave us tawfiq to get the reward so that we should be successful in this world and the world hereafter Ameen